Ladies and gentlemen, Sal and Mike, I'm back with another sit down talk video. I feel like you guys really enjoy these. I enjoy these, so I think we're gonna make this a little bit more routine here, maybe cover a different topic, uh, a ramble that's been on my mind, maybe uh, some training tips, whatever it might be. What you want me to cover, the news? Trending news? I don't know, comment below. Let me know what you guys want me to cover, whether it's a different type of diet, training system, whatever it might be. And we'll bring it up, we'll rip it apart, we'll see what's happening. I'll give you my own honest opinions because I've had a little self, uh, I don't know if I said welcome. Welcome to the video. Uh, I, I, I had a little like awakening, you know, I'm like, man, I used to be a little timid on making a, a clear cut statement in the back because there's a lot of different ways uh, to skin a horse, as they say, even though PETA with their memes might come and get me. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do that. And, and, and in training and diet, there's not always one way that works. And so I never want to just push one aside or, or say it's not worth talking about. Um, and also, I've been doing this thing for seven plus years on the internet, this fitness thing. Uh, and I've been coaching and training people, whether it's through basketball or strength and conditioning, powerlifting for 10 years. And in my earlier days, I felt like it wasn't my position to make a statement as I was still continue to learn. Now I'm still learning and I'm still watching, I'm still reading, I'm, 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 I'm gathering as much information as I can, I'm gaining experience every single day as I'm coaching people online and a little bit in person. But with 10 years under my belt, I feel it's time. I feel it's time I make a little bit more of a stand. I stand here. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is, is, is today we're covering the 2019 fis, fitness trends, which I found on a blog here online. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what I think, whether they're BS, whether they're good. I'm also have a little deal here. I'm gonna try to curse less. I don't know if YouTube's demonetizing me or what, but I'm gonna try to curse less and we're gonna see how we can get through this thing. If you wanna come hang out more with me, be sure to check out my podcast, Mama's Voice Podcast, 50% Facts, both links in the bio. And also I'm streaming on Twitch every single night if you guys want more personal interaction. I'll be there all the time. Again, comment what you guys want me to cover in the next video. Let's hop into the video. Finish trend number one, 2019, wearable technology. I think no one cares. You know what I mean? We talk about when we're talking about uh, how many calories you burn a day, how many calories you eat, how many steps you take. All that is valuable information, but what matters most is that we're slowly progressing, progressive overload, just like training over time. So if you're dieting and you're eating 2,000 calories and then you plateaued, you probably have to eat 1,900 calories, right? We need to progress. So this stupid tracker telling me that isn't always the best when I can just track the food that I'm putting in my mouth. Right, and we keep all other variables, my sleep, my hydration, my exercise, my cardio, constant, then I can adjust the food as we go. The only issue comes with this is if your lifestyle is all over the place, when and you're not getting the same workouts, the same sleep, the same food, now maybe you need this tracker to tell you. But in my opinion, you're better off getting into the habits, the rituals, the discipline of getting your food, sleep, everything in line, and then you can slowly either add cardio, take away uh, calories as you're wanting to diet, or even if you're bulking, you can add uh, a little bit more volume or you can add a little bit more uh, calories as you need to go. Uh, smart watches is what they're talking about, heart rate monitors, blah, blah, blee, blah. The merging of fitness and tech shows no signs of going anywhere, so expect to see more trackers and monitors in your way. And I think, you know, a little bit of a tracker and monitor is cool if you're trying to keep your heart rate at a certain thing on a cardio device, you know, maybe you're doing elliptical or a jog and you're like, all right, this week I'm gonna try to kick it at 120, Next week, I'm trying to kick it up a little bit more or I'm gonna do intervals or what it might be and you can track it. Um, but I think it's more important, again, uh, just to keep the uh, time of cardio you do or the type of cardio you do, you consistent if you're doing 10 different sprint intervals twice a week and then you plateau, then you just add another week or you add another round and now you're doing 11 or 12 rounds. You know, it's, it's that simple. Let's not overcomplicate things. Technology is amazing. I love it. It allows me a career, but anything, but let's not get too crazy about it. Trend number two, group training. They define group training as any workout with more than five participants. Uh, it first appeared among the top 20 trends in 2017, innovative, interesting, like online group training classes. Actually, I think some of that's pretty cool, uh, to be honest, because I think community, uh, I think having um, someone uh, having your back, maybe even friends texting you like, yo bro, see you at 5.30, we gotta work out. I think for the average person, that's gonna help a lot in them staying compliant to their workout schedule. Um, you know, things like CrossFit, uh, what's the bike? Pel Peloton? Pe 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 Peloton? Something like that, where it's an online like class and you're in your home on a bike. I think that's genius. I honestly think that's one of the best fitness things that's coming around in a long time, where you have a live coach or a live recorded coach uh, and you're taking a class online 
busting your butt on the bike. I think it's convenient for most if they just shove a little spin bike in the corner. Spin bike's a great uh, way to get cardio in. Obviously, I recommend cardio and strength training for the, the, the immense benefits it has for muscle, bone density, uh, longevity, and I think your brain and health, uh, and sh let alone strength, um, and the mental strength, you know what I mean? You, the mental strength to stay disciplined, stay training, uh, and we all look a little bit better with muscle. But I do think group training in general, um, like I said, CrossFit, there's some new one, uh, something 45 going around, but I'm down with it. You know, some people are doing a little bit of cardio, they're doing some uh, grappling ropes, they're doing some deadlifts, they're doing some kettlebell swings. All that is great and dandy. You have to find what works best for you. What you enjoy is number one. Um, and then number two, I think we start to get into what's optimal and what's gonna build uh, the type of lifestyle, physique, uh, conditioning performance that you want for whether you're a competitive athlete, I want to be a competitive athlete, or uh, just the lifestyle you live. Another trending topic, which actually it's starting to piss me off because it's just a buzzword. Um, these other ones are okay, you know, like I think they have their time and place, the group training, the whatever, but this is just a buzzword and this, uh, I, I don't want to be conspiracy Mike, but somebody out there is making money off this because this word keeps throwing around and there's nothing wrong with the type of exercise, but we're just talking about intervals and they say high intensity interval training took the top spot in 2018 and in 2014, but despite the small drop, experts say it's still playing a big role in the comeback of the fitness industry. You know, shut up. Shut up, it's just a buzzword. Are intervals great? Are sprints great? Yeah, we've known that. It's not a big deal. If you wanna get some conditioning in, whether you're playing basketball, you wanna uh, be a better sprinter, you wanna just burn some fat, you just wanna get your heart rate up, sweat a little bit, sure, intervals on any machine, a salt bike, running a hill, again, playing a sport like basketball, sark, whatever, absolutely wonderful. Do we have to take like, Oh, Mike, what's your HIIT routine? No one cares. Let's stop using these buzzwords. Let's stop feeding the, 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 the big media outlets out here all this BS. Let's focus on actually helping people. Are you saying this just to sound smart and sound stupid, like uh, try to impress people? Or are we actually trying to help people with the information that allows them to reach their goals? Um, when it comes to cardio, I'm pretty much down the middle of the road that uh, you're gonna try to just keep a routine and burn calories throughout the week. So uh, I'm not a big proponent of uh, intervals over maybe a low intensity or a moderate intensity. I'm a big proponent of finding the cardio that you like and sticking to it. I personally think that yes, sled pushes, playing basketball, things like that will get your heart rate up a little bit more. It may burn a little bit more fat, which I'm not that into, but it's more, it's more optimal, it's more uh, time, uh, less time consuming, right? You can get a good cardio session in if you're pushing a sled on sprints five to 10 rounds in probably 15 minutes. Where to burn that same amount of calories on a treadmill, walking, or even a light jog would probably take half an hour plus. So I do like that in terms of saving your time, getting in and out of the gym, which I've been doing lately. I get in, I, I have very short rest breaks on my, on my, on my movements, I'm, I'm getting a, a, maybe a little bit longer on the bench press because it's a little heavier, and then I'm going into incline, back, whatever it might be, I'm taking a minute rest at max, and then I'm out of there in an hour. I get 10 minutes of sprints at the end or a hard cardio, then I'm out. Uh, and I like that because I have other things to do in my day, uh, and I enjoy getting a little bit of sweat in. But if you're talking the buzzword of H-I-I-T, and it's gonna fix all your problems in, in your target areas. What the hell is, <laughs> side note, what's going on with Instagram and these girls pointing to a body part, like they like they like pinch their fat and then they go and do a side plank. Stop doing that. You guys are filling the world with BS. We all know you can't really spot reduce, although there's a hair of science coming out that maybe you can slightly, but, but point being, let's start teaching the proper things. Uh, if you're saying like shoulders, I'm gonna work my shoulders, that's fine, but girls are like, pointing to their little inch of side butt that they're talking about and then they're gonna go do, you know, curtsy lunges, like it's gonna change the world. Let's stop, let's just start being real with each other, you know? Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I do wanna talk more on different topics. I have a list going on my phone, we're gonna record them as we go. This is the setting, welcome to my show. I'm Silent Mike, be sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, comment below what topics trend, news, fitness, nutrition, whatever it might be you want me to cover, maybe even link an article below, whatever it might be, I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna check them out, and we will record more videos. Dropping two videos a week, ladies and gentlemen. Turn on notifications, Monday and Thursday. I appreciate you, I'll see you on Twitch, I'll see you on my podcast, have a good one. Salam alaikum, I'm out of here.